Welcome to the ESC TV. I'm uh, Professor Antonio Pellic. I'm the current president of the European Association of Cardiovascular Prevention and Rehabilitation. And I'm here to present some exciting novelty in the sports cardiology curriculum. I'm here with me, Dr. Michael Papadakis, who is a lecturer at the St. George Hospital in the Medical University of London and one of the part members of the sports cardiology section of our association. So, Michael, good morning. Welcome. Would you like to explain us what is new in the ESCAL program regarding the sports cardiology? What you did? Thank you very much, Prof. Pelicia. Uh, the the ACPR e-learning platform is an educational platform that is aimed to all physicians and cardiologists who have an interest in sports cardiology, prevention, exercise physiology. And uh, over the past year or so, we have managed to create 25 very exciting courses, very high quality courses. And particularly over the past year, we've created 17 new courses in sports cardiology that essentially cover most aspects of sports cardiology. And they're comprised of some targeted learning objectives, a very high quality video that was kindly sponsored by Cardiac Risk in the Young, and three multiple choice questions that the participant can test their knowledge once they go through the course. Which is the main values of these uh, courses? How the physicians and the young physicians can learn from uh, these uh, courses? Well, it's a very exciting opportunity because we provide to young, busy cardiologists and med exercise medicine physicians the opportunity to very easily access high quality educational courses and gain knowledge within a very limited time span that they have. Uh, our course in sports cardiology covers most aspects of sports cardiology and essentially it's based on the curriculum that we published a couple of years ago in our association's uh, journal. And uh, it is my pleasure to announce that shortly in the future there will be also some textbook covering also the, let's say, more academic issues that are in this area of sports cardiology. True? You're absolutely right. And we've got a lot of initiatives and it's a very exciting time for education in EACPR in that we're building up our e-learning platform. We're adding more courses and there will be 15 new courses by the end of the year. At the same time, we're adding some practical case reports to the e-learning platform. We've already created the prevention textbook which has been published and we're planning to publish a book on sports cardiology and I would also like to inform your audience about a new exciting innovation, the monthly sports cardiology CG quiz where the busy cardiologist is able within a few minutes to gain practical knowledge about real life cases in sports cardiology and the point I would like to make that all these resources are absolutely free to all members of the EACPR and Nowadays, it's extremely easy to join EACPR by just completing an online application form. Okay, thank you. That sounds very good. And uh, let's say, that makes me very proud to be president of the CPR because uh, we really uh, provide an educational tool that will be used worldwide. And this also is in agreement with our international vocation. We are just teaching not only European scientists, but also our colleagues all across the world. So, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.